What is going on, Vikings and Draconians? Draco Invictus here with uh, part three of our Road to the Mistlands. We are revisiting Valheim and playing it from the beginning again. And uh, just to catch it quickly up, uh, yeah, we beat Ekthir on day one, or within 24 hours of starting the game. And uh, now we're set up, or we're beginning to set up around a Maypole, which apparently has taken some damage that's not good uh, and I'm laying out the uh, the basic framework for what I'm wanting to do and uh, this is going to be the next part or the the first part that we actually build up but to finish it and put a roof on it I need core wood which means we're going on an adventure today it's not a building episode it is a adventure episode so uh, let me get out of this free cam mode. There we go. And uh, then come take care of this nosy neighbor over here. Now we may very well die today. But that's alright. I'm bound to die. So. But uh, yeah, we're going to do a cool little design here with the maple in the middle of the uh, tower. Excuse me, a tower going right here. So that's going to be fun. Uh, let's put that away. Um, so we need core wood. Core wood is located in the black forest. Dum 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 over there. So um, and it's going to be good for us to explore over there because we need to find burial chambers and all that stuff. And another reason we need core wood, we need 20 core wood just to make a stag breaker, which is a awesome early game weapon that we're going to want for the burial chambers. So it's time to get to work. But the area is looking really good, nice and clean. And uh, the auto pinner is going to pin all this tin around here. I could already see it on the map, like those two pieces there, that one there, 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 there. Every tin deposit is four tin. Oh crap, he's a one star. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for that. All right, let's get rid of the no star first. Switch to the, the axe. Let's see if I can parry him. Come on. Come on. Oh, got him. Nice. Okay, good. Whew. Quick breath. Okay. So yeah, there's a lot of tin around here, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, we want the uh, the tall trees there. I'm keeping my eye out for uh, trolls as well. So let's uh, be very mindful of the neighbors when we start hacking and cutting stuff down. made sure my inventory was as clean as possible so we could get as much core wood because we need it for building and for uh, the stag breaker there we go yes we want all of the core woods That's uh yeah, 19, pretty good. I love this whole little area with the like these little like island, I don't know. It's just such a cool little vibe over here. This game is really really pretty. I mean, I look at this pine texture, this texture on this tree right here, and obviously it's it's the whole like pixel art, you know, a, almost like 8-bit kind of a thing. But when you look at that that's just gorgeous. So. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. No, oh, it's just. Come on. Would you guys just attack and do something? Jesus. Stop running around like the Three Stooges. Oh, shit. 
Hey, pick up what I can and run. See what happens? You're a little loud and then the neighbors, you know, they, they tattle on you. Okay, let's go over to that area. Let's get away from this troll far, far away. We'll be like Jenny from Forrest Gump. We'll fly far, far away. No! Stop it! Leave me alone. Okay, is he done following me? Or is he continuing to follow me? My luck is he's... Oh, it looks like he stopped. I don't see any bloom moving. Okay. Yeah, the fir trees, not what we're looking for. Pine trees. I'm not cutting that one. It's just going to fall in the water. And really don't want to be jacking in the water as much as possible right now. So let's aim for this one. Ooh, nice little spawner over there across the water. All these gray dwarves and stuff like that, they spawn at the locations like that. Well, or that location is specific for, for bringing them about and stuff like that, which can be to your advantage. If you're looking for things like gray dwarf eyes. You can just stand over there all day long and just keep swinging at gray dwarves. As long as you don't hit the spawner itself. Be fine. Like this dude here. Okay, hey, what are we up to? 41. That's a good start. I don't know how many we're going to need for building. I know that we need 20 to make stag breaker, though. Now we're not picking up core wood anymore. And we must be getting full. Okay. Ditch the rocks. Yep. Just hoover all that crap right up. Okay. We're at 299 to 300. And we have 51. That's a good start. Yeah. We will uh, head to the house. I'm going to pick up the thistle. Apparently I had already picked up thistle. All right. Don't know where I might have picked up thistle. Oh, there's another. Did I see a spawner over here? Yeah, right there. Okay. And of course, we're keeping our eye out for carrot seeds. I'll drop rocks for carrot seeds. I need that as a bumper sticker. I drop rocks for carrot seeds. Oh, burial chamber. Hello. Nice. Where's the last one? I need these bone fragments. Uh, what are we going to drop? Um, we could drop a little bit of wood, I suppose. Not too terribly much. I need so much damn wood. All right, so that we will be coming back for uh, very, very soon. Uh, we don't even have a place to plant carrot seeds right now, so I'm not terribly worried about that. Let's uh, head on back to the house. And we'll make the stag breaker. All right, guys, so here's the stag breaker. Yeah, it takes 20 core wood, five deer trophies, and two leather scraps. So let's go ahead and get that made. Boom. That big old chongus bastard. And it's going to be awesome. Uh, I think we need... Do we have... I want to make sure that... Uh, get the door out of the way. Um, arrows. I know I stashed... I used them all. Oh, I have 12. Let's just make some regular old arrows. Right? Just wood arrows. Don't need any feathers or anything. Just wood. Okay. So we're good there. We got our stag breaker, which we will put in uh, spot three. 
Uh, let's go ahead and put all the rest of this away. Uh, take those out of there. Put this in here. Gone, gone. Leave in here. Okay, put these in here for now. And all that noise is, it's called Smarter Containers. Uh, where it groups things together, like it just put all the core wood probably out here. Or not. What did it do with the core wood? Did it leave it in this container? Ah, there we go. So it put the rest of the core wood over here. And, um, yeah, it's just one of those great quality of life mods to make your life easier. So... Uh, we are good to go. Now, what are we looking for in burial uh, chambers? Okay, we're looking for certling cores. Certling cores are used to make uh, smelters, kilns, portals, that kind of stuff. We need at least 10. Some people say, oh, you only need five to start. No, bullshit. <laughs> we i'm not doing this oh build one thing use it for five ten minutes tear it down build something else use it for a few minutes tear it down no 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 um oh crap i know what we probably are going to want at least partially a uh, torch that would be good what do we need for a torch oh i need a resin Shh. i guess i'll head back to the house um yeah, no, I, I don't do this whole take it down, put... No, no, no. We need five for a smelter and five for a kiln. Minimum. Minimum. This may be a survival game, but my God, man. <laughs> we are not savages. <laughs> we will... Oh, <laughs> yeah, we're not savages. I am not doing that. I, I will hunt the rest of this island to make sure that I have enough. Uh, there you go. All that crap put away. Uh, make sure everything's fixed. Yep. Okay. Now let's go. So, yeah. If this burial chamber doesn't have enough certling cores, we will find another one. Oh, my God. And and I've, I've had 15, 16 core burial chambers, and I've had no core burial chambers and each one is procedurally generated so if you're playing the same seed and you come to this burial chamber it will not be the same inside so just remember that um yeah let's go and what do you have in here skeletons and ghosts that's what's in barrel chambers uh let us ow Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. No, come over here. Smash! Smash! Stop shooting me, you bastards. There we go. That's what the stag breaker's for. They got our first certling core. Nice. See all the stuff it unlocked there? Yeah. Oh, God, another one. I thought there was a door here. That's why I didn't have the stag breaker on me. More certling cores, even better. That's fantastic. Okay. Now, how I like to search these places is I go for, I always follow the left wall, right? So I'll take the left passageway first, go through that door. Oh God. There. Okay, stop shooting me when I'm trying to explain crap. Uh, stamina 30, stamina 20, eat the yellow. Let me pull out the torch. Okay. And then pull... No. God! Let's try this again. I always follow the left wall. So that I will never get lost and I will never... Okay, but I am gonna come over here just because they seem to be coming from over here, yeah. See this guy here? Let's draw him back out here since I can't 
carry a torch, a shield, and the club at the same time. And I don't, I'm tired of them coming up behind me. And I am going to put this here. Five. There we go. Okay. Making sure there's just no one. Okay. All quiet now. So you don't have to go to the left, uh, but find a system that works for you. You know, if you always want to go to the right, do that. But that way you don't miss anything in here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Here's the other benefit of the stag breaker. It goes through doors. There's two things we're hitting right now. See the yellows? Okay, now it's empty. Oh, ghost. It's another skelly. Keep going. Yep. Oh, ghost. Keep working on the ghost. Come on. Damn it. Ah. Okay, it's dead. It's dead, it's dead. All right. Oh, yes. Yeah. See, that's what I'm talking about. We got gems. We've got gold coins and rubies. Bone fragments. So we're already up to five. We are halfway there. That's pretty darn good. Okay, check the chest. Take all that. Oh, nothing but yellow mushrooms. Take those. Uh, pigs or the boars will not eat yellow mushrooms, so keep that in mind. Whoop. Hi, boys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's talk about this. There's three of them right there. Come on. Maybe there was a spawner in here or something? No? Whatever it was, it's gone now. Oh, look at him. He's staring at me through the door. Yeah, there's a spawner in there. I can see the purple haze. Basically, we want to get that taken care of with as little risk to us as possible. Okay, and now we open the door. Pick up our bone for, oh, what is that? Oh, nothing. Another certainly core, so two more. Some amber pearls. All of that. That. Man, this has been a really good one, right? We got seven already? Okay. Put away the stag breaker just because it takes up so much real estate on the screen. So we have now cleared the entire left side. Why did the texture change? You guys notice that? I just now noticed that. It's brighter in here. I'm not needing the torch anymore to see what the hell's going on. All right, center was a big old dud. Yeah, I don't know why that changed. Oh. Oh, spawner. Okay. 
kind of rush through just to get the spawner done. There we go. Nice. Look at the cores. Ten. Huh? Perfect. Rubies. Okay. See? This one was a wonderful... Oh, another spawner in there. Let's see if we can't take care of it through the door. Man, this has been the burial chamber to come to, let me tell you. Pick up that. This is the Vegvisir for the Elder, but we already knew where he was because we found him on that, uh, that little, uh, not castle, but little stone structure. So, I think we're done. Yep, that was a fantastic, look at that, 13. Oh God, now I want to go find another one. <laughs> I have an odd number. <laughs> I'm thinking two smelters. Oh, shaman. Missed me. Yeah, you can heal all you want, but that ain't going to work for you, buddy. You got some buke parries. What are buke parries? Buke parries are if you took a certain amount of food, but let's say you were going to fight the boss, but you didn't want to wait for the timer to wait, uh, run out on the current foods, but you wanted to consume better foods, you use buke parries to puke up everything that you were consuming. And uh, that way you have an empty stomach and you can start over. That's what buke parries are. Oh, picked up some blueberries. Nice. Get some more bone fragments here. So I'm guessing, let's look at the map really quick. So this probably lets out, this is the river on the back side of the house, right? Over here. Okay. So through here, we may be able to lower some ground and make like a little canal to connect the river to the ocean that we want to be in, which is over there, right on the other side of those little. So we may be able to cut something out here that we could sail through. That'd be cool. Oh, what am I doing in water? Oh, I know why, because the trolls over there. We just have, we have room in our inventory. I don't want to go home until we Find another burial chamber. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go look around um, and try not to die. Um, so, but in case I don't find anything, I, I don't, I want, I don't want to. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Hey, Skelly. Oh, hello, Archer. Where are you? There you are. Peter, did you see him shooting around the trees? Bastard. All right. So I promise I'm not going to take you guys through every... You know what? We'll just... I'll give you the highlights of this burial chamber. Since we already went through one, you know what they look like. Um, because I realized that we're getting a little long in the, uh, the episode here. And I don't know how much I'm going to be editing out. So... Um, yeah, I'm trying to keep these at around 30 minutes or so. Anyway, I'm going to go through here, see what we can find. And so we're currently sitting at 13 certain link cores. Let's see what we're at when I finish. All right, guys. So as you can see, we got 20 
total. So we got seven more out of this one. So it wasn't nearly as good, but we now have 20 Sertling cores. That means that we can have a kiln. We can have a couple smelters. We can get to work with, uh, with some tin. I still am not seeing not a single copper note around here on these little islands. Uh, but my inventory, well, 234. I think I may do a little bit more exploring. So let me look around the rest of this little island, see if I can't find anything else. And if so, I'll let you know. So I was just on that island. Okay, that's where I was. And I spotted a skeleton standing out here. So there's another burial chamber right there. Um, and this is where I'm going to the canal because I can clean out some of these rocks in here. Uh, so it'll be a lot less work. That's the ocean water I want to be on. And that river comes around here. Obviously, there's more ocean over here. But uh, knowing the shape of the island, uh, because I consider this all the same island. So you can see there's small breaks there, but it wraps like this. And then it comes back up this way. So I want to be in this section of water. Um just because i can get uh, i'll have my island on all sides so uh let's go in here i'll let you guys know what we got all right guys so i ended up with 29 certain cores this is fantastic uh yeah we'll be able to to smelt anything we want uh so yeah that is uh that's probably going to wrap it up for me. I got to make it down home now. Um, yeah, yeah, home's not down here. It's right here. I should put a home, a little home marker there. So it's not just a bed. Call it home. There we go. Uh, and look at all the tin that we can get. I still have not, uh, that one's done. Uh, not found any copper. Not a single copper node. Uh, granted, this island needs some more to look like there's a little tower right there. So, but yeah, I'm digging this little archipelago kind of a thing that we got going on. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I am loving getting back into Valheim with some uh, solo gameplay and stuff like that. It uh, just uh, adds a whole nother level of challenge. So thank you for hanging out with me. And if you're new around here, subscribe, click the bell notification icon. Uh, if you're liking the content and yeah i appreciate you guys hanging out a special shout out to uh all my patrons or patron and uh, my uh, youtube channel members uh for uh, supporting me in a financial way and if they if you were ever interested in doing that you can click on the join button right next to the subscribe button and um it'll show you all the different tiers we'll pick up more blueberries and all that kind of stuff. But the most... Oh, Troll Cave, too. Did, that, did it flag it on the map? Oh, I guess it did. Yep. Put a little troll head there. We'll take the seeds. Give us the seeds. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> let's get out of here. Yes, let's swim toward the Troll Cave. That's uh, like a good plan. Anyway, uh, if you guys are interested in uh, helping this channel in a financial way... Uh, the easiest way, click on join, pick a tier, and uh, get your name in the end credits. Uh, I'll, hell, I'll name a boar after you. Oh, shit. We have a gatekeeper. Look at him. He's just standing there. Ah, oh, shit. I am not prepared to fight him. I have regular arrows. And I am at capacity. Oh, uh, I'm just going to have to kite him. Oh, God. You bastard. Come here. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm going to leave you guys not knowing what happened with the troll. <laughs> How's that? All right, guys. So that's going to wrap it up. Until next time, you take care of yourselves out there. This is Draco Invictus saying this has been the best day in my life. See ya.